Okie dokie. So, it's Wednesday, January 8, 2020. And it's 7 a.m. And I'm curious to know why it is this colony act up so aggressive yesterday. I need to make sure that I don't make that same mistake again. What I can see at the entrance floor here of this colony is they probably had a little fighting. See, we have some dead bees on the ground there. And the colony is here today, this morning. And they seem to all be looking okay. Although from this distance, I could see one or two of them looking at me. Yes, definitely. One is here checking me out. They probably want to know if I come in to bother them again. Okay. Why would they want to rub this colony here too? You notice here, it has some debris. So what I can see is it have an opening between the super, the two supers. Oh my, they bouncing me. They come out from this entrance here and they, they bouncing me on my hand. So they don't, want, they don't want me to be around. Now they biting me. Okay, now they in my hair. See in the back there? Okay, I got sting. Somewhere right here. I also got sting on my hand here. See how she trying to get away? She, although she sting, she hoping to get away with her sting and she did. Okay, so something is wrong. Why these bees are that defensive? Because usually I will come here and do my thing no problem, I don't know. Now I have to check the clothing in which myself and the helper which I had with me yesterday to see if probably is the clothing that caused uh, that aggressive behavior. All the other bees looking pretty good. I know that what I did yesterday also stimulate them into going to gather more nectar and look, notice here too we have a space so i need to get into these colonies and remove that space you see any space that it has in the box it will cause i could see daylight through the, through the other side so that means that space is too much I need to clean any debris that it will have um, causing that space because what also happened is in a case like this all the the heat that the bees generate inside here will be venting through there 92 to 95 degrees must be maintained and if that is not maintained well you know the bees will be in stress So you see that one colony over on the other side there. They didn't like what I did at all yesterday. So I'll have to make sure and check so that that doesn't happen again. So don't forget, you know, I always ask you for that. Like and share, give me that thumbs up. Most of all, ring that bell icon. Subscribe too, yeah man. Encourage some of your good, good partners to come and subscribe. So that colony is still vexed with me. All right, so let me go and do some other, other, other farming. Across here, I have some young corn coming up. Yeah, man. Nice pollen coming up for the, the bees in a, in a timing. And over here, I have it. I'm going and prepare more. I'm going to be planting this towards the end of this month, this area here. 
Anyhow, these bees, they acting as the way they're supposed to. Telling you when you're doing something wrong. So you have to listen to the bees, you know. Basically, they're still doing good, man. Yeah, I put on supers on, I believe, all the colonies. Every single one of them. So let's see what's going to happen now. The season is nearly here. And I am ready. Hold for a second. I'm coming back to your desk now. Okay. So I came out here in the field to check to see what is happening with the kudzu. And what I can notice is right here, the flower is beginning to open with the heat of the sun. And we can see already, I'm seeing some one or two bees here, sort of checking that out. So that's a good sign. So all this, all this field around here will be in bloom with kudzu just now. So super in those colonies is the correct thing to do. And I must point out to you, although the bees are angry with me, I got sting in the top of my head this morning, but the one that was on my arm, by my elbow there, it although it sting, but it wiggled its way out and got out of the got its stinger out without the bee dying. So that's a good sign. You see, the bees they, they know that they will die if they sting to the point where they can't get the stinger out. So that's another thing that bees do. Sometimes they give you a warning sting. But that sting is just a little more than a warning sting for me. Yes, man, we have bees all here in this field. Looking for any source of nectar and pollen. So, the, the different methods that the bees use to warn me off, I experienced all of that this morning. First, they come out and looked at me, raised their front legs, then they fly, uh, fly at me, buzz around. Afterwards, they bonks me, actually bonks me with their body. And it's only after they bonks me is when they come and nibble on me with their mandibles. And then I got the warning sting, and then the full sting in the top of my head, and then another sting on my, sh on my elbow, where the bee was able to wiggle its way back out of it. So these are different warning strategies that these bees will use to get any potential threat away from the colony. And right here you can see we have some cashew flowers coming up. Cashew is already open. I see seeing some nice cashew flowers over on this side. Check it out. Although at this point in time, there isn't any bees on it, they probably done take out all the nectar already. So these are these are the, the cashew flowers right here. So the next thing I need to do now is to figure out, um, you know, what really triggered those bees into that behavior. Trying to be a better beekeeper. Huh? This is what I do most of the time. Okay, folks. Yeah, man. So, it's just a gentle reminder to let you know. You need to come back and check me on this channel. See how my, my corn is looking so pretty across there. 
Yeah, man, that's it himself. And right here we have we have corn to, to harvest in. Look, this one, it's all ready. Ready to put in the steamer. So I'm going to be doing some of that today. Enjoying my corn, steamed corn. You must try it, you know. Yeah, just put a little water in the steamer and steam it for like about 20 minutes or less. And you would see, you would taste how nice it is. And you'll get back to me. All right. So I had to leave, you know, I had to go and do some farming, another type of farming. Most of the bees gone already. Yeah. There's only that one colony that act up in a way. And now I come back here, they come at me again. So you see how they are? All right, folks. I'll leave them bees straight, eh? Okay, TTFN, thanks for watching.